Hi Cubs, my name is Elaine and I'm Mark Kayla at First Lady Base Scout Group. Um, Catherine and Fiona have asked me to put together a bit of a video um, for a craft that you might like to do during this activity day. We were going to do something quite simple, um, yeah, um, a mobile and I thought single dimension would be good but then we had a bit more of an idea and we wondered whether we could make it 3D. So think of some ideas you would like to put on your mobile. This one we did for the environment. So it's got love your world and um, plant trees and reuse, recycle and uh, walk places on it. Just little pictures you can download or find in magazines or you could even draw them yourselves. That's brilliant. Um, then if we're thinking about the lockdown and bits and pieces, we could possibly do the NHS. Yeah, so things like that. Or if you're thinking possibly of the walk to the moon that we did, we could do photographs of that. And I think there's even pictures of the earth available. Or then I was really interested in the um, launch of the space rockets going to the space station. So there's all those sorts of things to remember, maybe good things that happened during lockdown. Or you could be thinking possibly about things that you might want to be doing after lockdown and when we're all back to um, normal scouting. So those are some really fab activities that I can't wait to get back involved with. So to make the um, mobile 3D, we need some sort of structure. So I've got the NHS one there and um, the, sorry, too far away, and the Protect the World jobby, and they are mounted on a little triangle frame like that. So first of all we're going to do that. I think the ideal size for your frame would be if you had a bamboo skewer. Quite a lot of people have got these because this is what we do our um, cooking on. Yeah, And if that was about 12 centimetres long Maybe parents can cut these for you beforehand, or if you can measure 12 centimetres on your stick using a ruler, right, and then just twizzle the stick, you don't have to go anywhere near the scissors, just and gently cut, 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 and that makes a mark actually in the stick. And then if you put your fingers either side of that mark, it snaps really easily and really cleanly. So that's now a 12 centimetre stick. So I've done two others of those. So now we've got three sticks. So we can tie them together with string. Starting off, I've been told, with, um, oh gosh, let me see, a timber hitch to do some diagonal lashing. Now then, quite a lot of people might not have done that and I don't think I've got time to actually describe how to do it, but I understand some day or some time during the day there may be some lashing demonstrated, so you never know, you might get that. So to make it a little bit easier, what we're going to do is just simply use elastic bands. So the smallest you can get, but doesn't really matter, oh. <laughs> and if you hold your sticks in a kind of cross and then wrap your elastic bands round, try and go round the, all the different angles. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see very much of that. And then try and tighten it off as tight as possible. Oops, how am I going to 
be able to finish that. Okay, yeah, that's super. So that's what we've got there. So it will eventually, when you've all done all three, it will turn out like that. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do after we've got our frame sorted is to do the um, circle that goes on the frame. So the big one. Um, if you've got a 12 centimetre stick, that should have left you about 10 centimetres free space in between the elastic bands. So you need to find something that's 10 centimetres that you can draw a circle around. Um, so I just happen to have a lovely mug and that's a 10 centimetre diameter. So if I draw around that on a piece of, you, you can't see what I'm doing, but if you draw around that on a piece of white card or maybe a straightened out tissue box or a cereal box or something, and that will then cut that out and that will give you a round circle, plain card. Um, you can stick on your design. So that goes on there. So that can obviously glue or double-sided sticky tape if you want some. That's got to be quite sort of firm. So it'll take a little bit of, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. And then that, then you have to decide on which bits and pieces you're going to add underneath your main design. So for the, the NHS one, I was going to put my clap for carers and um, stay at home symbols, those, those two. So again, decide on what type of shape you're going to stick your patterns on. So I've gone for hearts, but you could choose circles or squares or triangles or whatever. Um, so again, cut your pictures out and you need a backing card as well. That can be any colour, if you like. And the idea is for you to make the picture slightly smaller than the backing card, so you can actually see some of the colour around it. And if you're doing a mobile, it's lovely to have things on both sides, so when it's spinning round, you can actually see pictures on both sides. On this one, I didn't, and I've just got where I've stuck the, the glue. And it looks okay to show to you, but um, it's not fabulous when it's hanging up. So. Then to finish it off, you need to attach everything together. So we need to have holes punched in our dangly shapes. So a hole punch if you've got them. You can try and get it in the middle of a heart, but I would go for in the side because it's a lot easier. And then you need some wool, which I have cut off already. And if you happen to have a sharp end of your skewer, you can use that to help poke that through the hole. That makes it so easy. And if you're being a good Cub Scout, we can tie a lovely reef knot in the top there to make it nice and neat. Um, if not, it really doesn't matter what sort of knot you tie. And if you've got a little bit of extra wool poking out the top there, that probably just needs to be snipped off to make it neat. So there you've got your dangly, and that will have your pictures either one side or both sides, then that just needs to be attached to the frame. And if you have all of the danglies to do with one design on one stick, so I'm going to have all the NHS ones on that side, and I've got a space one here with a bit of black wool because I thought that was a bit more spacey. So that's my um, International Space Station and the rocket docking there. And then that's my cartoon jobby of them doing that. 
as so. That's going to be my space one. And again, just tie your wool or cotton or whatever you've got round one of the sticks like that. Okay, so you should have three things. And then the last thing is to oh, put the main decoration on. So that should slot in between the elastic bands. I'm going to move my fingers out of the way like that. And all you need to do is just get that level and sellotape over so it stays like that. Then, if you want to hang it up, you just need to have some cotton or a little bit more wool and attach that to the three corners and then bring it together as long as you want and then you can pin that into the ceiling. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. So it's a, a lockdown, memories or anything that you'd like to make mobile. Hope you've enjoyed that and see you soon. Bye!